Is the universe endless? Well, we're not sure yet. What we do know is that everything started with a huge event called the Big Bang about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been getting bigger and bigger. When we gaze up at the stars, we're only seeing a small part of the whole universe, which we call the observable universe. It's like looking out from inside a bubble. But what's outside that bubble? What's beyond the stuff we can see? That's the big question no one has the answer to yet. It's one of the coolest mysteries out there. The idea that the universe has boundaries is considered one of those transformative concepts capable of dramatically altering our perception of the world. A similar paradigm shift occurred in 1543 when Nicholas Copernicus demonstrated that the Earth was not the center of the cosmos. Another breakthrough happened in the 20th century when Edwin Hubble revealed that galaxies are moving away from each other, leading to the realization that the universe has not existed eternally, but was formed by a specific event known as the Big Bang. Today, we understand that the dimensions of the universe are far greater than we can comprehend. The quest to determine whether the universe has boundaries is expected to lead to another significant scientific breakthrough. Currently, scientists can only discuss the boundaries within which objects are visible, known as the observable universe. This region represents the absolute past relative to the observer, with the cosmic horizon marking its edge. The cosmic horizon is like the edge of what we can see in the universe. Beyond this edge, things are moving away so fast that we can't see them anymore. Right now, the part of the universe we can see is really big, about 93 billion light years across. That's a huge space. The light from the farthest things we can see has been traveling for 13.8 billion years to get to us. But because the universe keeps getting bigger, those things are now even farther away than they were when the light started its journey. Everything in the universe is moving apart because there's stuff like matter and energy out there. This doesn't mean there's a center where everything is expanding from. It's more like everything is getting farther away from everything else. We don't notice this happening around us because the tiny parts that make up everything are held together really tightly. The furthest things we can see are about 46 billion light years away from us. The most distant galaxy we've found is called GNZ 11. It's so far away that the light we see from it started traveling almost 13.4 billion years ago, not long after the universe began. Now it's about 32 billion light years away. It seems like it's moving faster than light, but that's because the space itself is stretching out, not because the galaxy is speeding away. If we could go there, we might learn a lot about how the universe was when it was very young. The universe likely began expanding immediately after its birth. In theory, the edges of the matter in galaxies could extend back to the cosmic singularity, potentially revealing what the universe was like before the Big Bang. However, in practice, the limit of what we can observe is marked by relic radiation. This radiation known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, forms a barrier to our vision of the early universe. The CMB was emitted approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe had cooled enough for atoms to form. In simple terms, the CMB is like an image of the universe in its infancy, showing us what it looked like before the first stars formed. The cosmos stretches boundlessly beyond what we can see and it's thought that it might have no end. Sometimes people talk about the things that could exist outside our visible universe as parts of a multiverse or alternate realities. Right now, our scientific understanding of these far-off things isn't clear. But as space keeps getting bigger, 
the stars and galaxies we can see today will one day move out of sight. If space keeps growing faster and faster, then eventually, even the galaxies that are part of our own big group of galaxies will move so far away that we won't be able to see them anymore. This means we won't be able to send messages or anything else outside the part of the universe we can see. In the end, we might only be able to see our own planet, our solar system, our galaxy, and the nearby galaxies that are all grouped together with us. Beyond what we can see, there might be strange new places that came from changes in what space is made of, or from little differences in the ancient light that fills the universe. The idea that there could be other universes is really interesting, but it's also something that scientists don't all agree on. A lot of scientists think that the universe is infinite, but they have different ideas about what that means. Some think that our universe is just one part of a much bigger reality that has lots of dimensions. Others like the idea that there are many universes and ours is just one small piece of an endless collection. There are even some ideas that suggest there might be ways to get to these other places that are beyond what we can see. But these are just theories. One idea is that there's a kind of boundary we can never cross because the light moving away from us is going too fast compared to how fast the universe is getting bigger. Based on what we understand now, it seems like the galaxies we see will keep moving away until they pass a point where we can't see them anymore. It'll look like they're frozen in time, always getting closer to the edge of what we can see, but never actually going out of sight. We don't have all the answers yet, but who knows? Maybe one day soon, we'll have new tools that can show us more. Think of the universe as a giant ball. If you tried to go around it, it would be like going around the Earth. But the universe is so big that even if you could travel at light speed, it would take you 32 billion years to get to the edge of what we can see. And by the time you got there, the edge would have moved just as far away again. It's like trying to reach a finish line that keeps moving. Beyond what we can see, there might not be much. Just a simple mix of helium, hydrogen, and a few other elements. It's a bit like chasing after the end of a rainbow. We might never find out where everything started. Let's meet again. Beyond another veil at same place, another time, maybe with another you.